What up, everybody? I made some baller chia crackers, and uh, they were so easy. I ripped it off right off of a, a raw food. Shh, these were really good. I support the company. I would totally pay for them. But if you want to extend your cash, this cost me six bucks, a little raw bag of uh, treats. And I'm sitting here staring at the ingredients. Sunflower seeds, carrots, celery, flax seeds, onion, raisin, cilantro, lemon juice, sea salt, oregano, and rosemary. So, I uh, spent two minutes Googling and discovered how to make chia crackers. And these are just, they're freaking awesome. All you need is a dehydrator, a bag of chia seeds, and a collection of vegetables and, and spices that you like. Seriously, there's no measurements. There's nothing to perfect about this. What I did was I took one cup of chia seeds and soaked it in five cups of water. That's a ratio I found online. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. It puffs all up into a jelly. While that's soaking, you're going to take whatever vegetables you want, like carrots, celery, what did I put else in here, onions, um, a little bit of sweet. I think I put like a date or two in this. And if you have a ninja or a food processor, uh, anything that will just chop it up, just blend it up, chop it up real small. Mix it in with the chia seeds, add maybe like a tablespoon of olive oil, and boom. That's all you have to do. Spread it onto a dehydrator rack. Takes about, I don't know, six hours. Flip it, another six hours. And, I mean, I made three times as much uh, raw dehydrated, super power-packed, uh, what, what, what does chia have? Omega, omega fatty acids. So, I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a protein source. It's good to keep your... Um, stamina high if you're working out. It's a good way to get some protein in your diet and it's an excellent way to save a couple bucks. Peace.